facial nerve, seventh cranial nerve. Introduction. Facial nerve is a mixed nerve containing motor and sensory root. The sensory root is also termed as nervous intermedius, contains preganglionic secretor motor fibers. Therefore, the sensory root is a misnomer. Later, both the roots join to form a single trunk. The facial nerve is a mixed nerve containing the following motor fibers that innervate the facial muscles, parasympathetic fibers innervating lacrimal, submandibular, and sublingual salivary glands, efferent fibers from taste receptors from anterior two thirds of the tongue. Somatic efferents from the external auditory canal and pinna. Nuclei or functional components. Special visceral efferent or branchiomotor fibers forms the motor component of the facial nerve. Motor nerve arising from motor nucleus from the nerve of second pharyngeal or branchial arch supplies the muscles derived from the mesoderm of this arch. The motor nucleus is located in the lower part of pons, anterior to abducens nucleus. General visceral efferent, superior salivatory nuclear complex, contains two components, salivatory and lacrimatory nuclei. Superior salivatory nucleus contains fibers from preganglionic parasympathetic pathway for submandibular and sublingual salivary gland. The axons of lacrimatory nucleus are preganglionic parasympathetic fibers to supply lacrimal gland. Special visceral efferent, nucleus of tractus solitaris. These fibers arise from nucleus of tractus solitaris which is located in the upper part of the medulla concerned with taste sensation from anterior two-thirds of the tongue except the circumvallate papillae. The cell bodies are located in the geniculate ganglion of facial nerve. The fibers from ganglion relay in nucleus of tractus solitaris. General somatic efferent which carry cutaneous sensations from the skin of external ear. The cell bodies are located in the geniculate ganglion. The peripheral process innervates the receptors of skin, whereas the central process relay in the spinal nucleus of trigeminal nerve. Intraneural course. The fibers from the motor nucleus encircles the abducens nucleus producing an elevation in the floor of the fourth ventricle and turn abruptly to lie near spinal tract of trigeminal nerve, this turn is known as the internal genu of facial nerve. Genu means a bend. Neurobiotaxis During development of Pons facial nerve nucleus or the motor nucleus, it lies close to the spinal nucleus of trigeminal nerve, or the sensory nucleus, to establish a quick reflex. Later, due to the further development, facial nerve nuclei migrates venteromedially. To have a close approximation between sensory and motor nuclei, the fibers from facial nerve migrates, winding around the internal genu of the facial nerve, the abducens nucleus, such as that the motor fibers are nearer to spinal nucleus of trigeminal nerve. This process of migration is known as neurobiotaxis. The sensory and motor roots converge and exit from the pontomedullary junction. Intracranial course in posterior cranial fossa. The two roots of facial nerve run towards cerebellopontine angle along with vestibulocochlear nerve and labyrinthine artery to enter the internal ear, the petrous part of the temporal, via internal acoustic meatus.
intrapetrous course. It is divided into two parts, the meatal part and the facial canal. Meatal course. The facial nerve is lodged in the groove of vestibulocochlear nerve. Initially, both the roots, motor and sensory, lie separate, and the nerve reaches the bottom of the internal acoustic meatus, both the roots join to form a single nerve. The course in the facial canal is divided into three segments. Labyrinthine segment runs above the vestibule of the internal ear to reach the anterior end of the medial wall of middle ear. Here it takes a sharp, abrupt bend called as external genu of facial nerve. The genu is thickened to form geniculate ganglion. Tympanic segment is the horizontal segment that runs posteriorly in the medial wall of middle ear to reach the posterior end of the medial wall. Mastoid segment is the vertical segment that begins from the posterior end of the medial wall of middle ear, runs vertically downwards to reach the stylomastoid foramen. Geniculate ganglion. It is the sensory ganglion of facial nerve present in the external genu of facial nerve. It contains pseudounipolar neurons. The peripheral process receives the taste sensations by corda tympani nerve branch of the facial nerve and general sensations from auricle via communicating branch of vagus nerve. The central process from the ganglion convey the impulses via nervous intermedius, which is the sensory root, which terminates in the tractus solitaris, the taste fibers, and the spinal tract of trigeminal, the cutaneous fibers. The geniculate ganglion also gives a branch called as greater petrosal, which joins the deep petrosal nerve, which is sympathetic fibers, to form nerve to pterygoid canal. The nerve to pterygoid canal contains preganglionic parasympathetic fibers to sphenopalatine ganglion. The geniculate ganglion also receives external petrosal nerve, which contains sympathetic nerve, forms plexus around the middle meningeal artery. Branches of the facial nerve in the facial canal. Alderman's nerve is the communicating branch of vagus to supply external ear. Nerve to stipidius supplies stipidius muscle of middle ear. Corda tympani nerve arises from the mastoid segment of facial nerve. Extracranial course. After exiting from the stylomastoid foramen, the facial nerve enters the parotid gland and divides into five terminal branches. Branches of the facial nerve after exiting the stylomastoid foramen and before entering the parotid gland are as follows. Posterior auricular nerve. It supplies the occipitalis muscle and posterior auricularis muscle of the scalp. Nerve to posterior belly of digastric. The five terminal branches are temporal nerve, zygomatic nerve, buccal nerve, mandibular nerve, and cervical nerve. Clinical correlation. Bell's palsy or facial nerve palsy is the lower motor neuron lesion or infranuclear of facial nerve. The motor part of facial nerve supplying facial muscles, supplying lower part of the face, receives the corticonuclear fibers from the opposite cerebral hemisphere, while the part of motor nucleus of facial nerve, which supplies the upper part, receives corticonuclear fibers from both the cerebral hemispheres. This explains in the lesions involving upper motor neuron or supranuclear lesions of facial nerve. The upper half of the face, that is the forehead muscles of both sides, are spared, and the lower part of the face, that is below the eyes, is affected. On the opposite side, on the other hand, in infranuclear lesions, 
the whole half of the face, including muscles around the eyes, forehead, would be paralyzed on the side of lesion. Facial nerve is a mixed nerve. Sensory, taste, anterior two thirds of the tongue by a corded tympani branch of facial nerve, innervation of tympanic membrane via corda tympani branch, skin behind the ear by posterior auricular branch, motor or somatic, facial expression. Eyelid closing by orbicularis oculi muscle, efferent limb of the corneal reflex, which is the temporal branch bilaterally, jaw opening by the posterior belly of digastric muscle, hyoid elevation by stylohyoid muscle, efferent limb of the acoustic or stapedius muscle for auditory volume modulation, motor or parasympathetic. Salivation, submandibular and sublingual glands, lacrimation by the lacrimal gland, efferent limb of the lacrimation reflex.